Hey everybody, uh, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive and I want to show you a uh, really cool little tutorial today on how to use ManyChat with Zapier to create a conversion calculator that you can show your prospective clients either in person or if you drive ads or you know you know, add it to your bot sequence whatever uh, that is extremely powerful because it shows the difference between uh, classic standard old tired email marketing conversions versus what you can achieve in a bot and it's uh, the numbers are, are, are really wild uh, as far as the difference and so your customers should be blown away and it hopefully it'll help you uh, get more clients um, first off a huge shout out to Mary Catherine Johnson over at the messenger hackers group she uh, has a her original version in a PDF format that uh, that comes through her bot and uh, I asked her if I could go ahead and make this tutorial, and she said, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, she's been very helpful, and she knows tons and tons and tons of stuff about bots. Anyway, so let's uh, let's get into this tutorial. Hopefully, it's not too long and wandering. But um, this is kind of the, the, the blocks I've got here. So what I'll do is I'll show you how these blocks actually work uh, as we walk through the bot. So the first thing is, is I've got two intro blocks that I've created of, of content, and one is kind of an intro or they're basically the intros for myself which has my picture and my name in it and then an intro for my business partner Zach Nussbaum and has his uh, picture and info in it so each of us could show that to clients you know individually and so that it's a little more personalized and once the the customer or the, the the user goes through the intro block they get into the start block here and that basically walks them through some basic stats you know kind of uh, uh, gives them a little preamble as, as to you know like how email converts right now with 2017's statistics and uh, you know how bot conversions look and then it's uh, you know run some quick replies to get them into the actual calculator so we pop in we uh, we get started we ask them if they have a list if they don't have a list we say oh my god you can't believe you don't have a list it's very important but let's pretend that you have a list so let's go ahead and put in some fake numbers anyway and then it bounces to the have a list if they have a list it bounces up to the have a list and then it basically all it does is it does user inputs to grab their um, the size of their list that they've got the average cost of their product and service and then it uh, it you know asks them for their uh, average conversion rate on their sales page then it uses those numbers sends it to Zapier and does a little bit of calculation I'll give you that code that you can use in Zapier and then it pops back with the stunning results and then it says says you know can you believe this this is pretty awesome so you realize that you need a bot right and if they're convinced it pull you know it um, brings them down here to uh, a little block where they can actually contact us and call us and if they're not convinced and I don't see why they wouldn't but you know you need to give them that option it also you know uh, pushes them a little more to go ahead and give you a call and get a free strategy session anyway so let's see how this actually works in messenger so I've got it built here there's sorry there's my my ugly mug there but um, it says thanks for stopping by I'm the co-founder of Brain Trust Interactive do you want to find out how much revenue you can generate with messenger over email so of course you want to do that so it says tell me all about it and it pops up come on there we go and it pops up with our statistics and according to smart insights and there is a, a smartinsights.com has some really good uh, 2017 statistics so uh, you can see that email only has an average open rate of about 24% and a click-through of 4.19% which is really really sad and you can see that we're really sad about that but You've got Messenger gets open rates of 80% and click through of 40% or better, which is exciting. And you can see how excited that we are that you get those kind of stats. So um, it pushes them through that. I've got some pretty big delays in here so that people can actually read it and spend a little time comprehending the, the actual data. So with that in mind, let's do the math. Let me ask you a few questions. So here we go. This is where we would go into the block that says I have a list or I don't have a list. I'm going to just go ahead and ignore the don't have a list because we're just going to assume that they do. And it says, great, so how many, how many uh, uh, people do you have on your list? Let's say they've got 2,000 people on their list, okay? So we do user input, it says, okay, on average, what's the cost of your product? So let's assume we're doing, like, say, affiliate products, so like maybe $47. So we'll put in 47 
And then what's the conversion rate? Um, I see conversion rates anywhere between 10 to 15%. So let's do like 12%, right? So I put in 12%. This is where it hits Zapier and it calls to Zapier, bam, and it pulls back all this information. So it says for 2,000 users, your 80% open rate would be 1,600 users. The click through would be 640 users. 12% conversions mean you'd get 76 sales for $3,500. Uh, with email, you'd get uh, 495 users opening, 20 users clicking, two sales, and $94. So the difference between email and a bot is 30, almost $3,500. So that's always going to be a very, very shocking number just by the fact that bots do get huge, huge conversions. And so we say, after you see those numbers, are you convinced? So here we go, where they can drop into the convinced or not convinced uh section there and obviously with striking uh, results like that yes you're going to be convinced so here it is boom and we can say uh, go ahead and schedule a strategy call you're excited and so that's how the conversion calculator actually works okay let's go into the tutorial right um, so basically you see what we've got here as far as these blocks I'll uh, I'll actually go into, I mean, you should be able to know how to create these individual blocks. So let's actually go into the have list block, which actually takes all the input and fires off the zap. So let's look at this and let's go edit the message. And so I say, great, so how many subscribers do you have? I'm taking um, a number input only and I'm uh, saving it to this variable here called conversion calc list size, okay? And so it takes the list size and says, okay, great. So what's your actual cost, your product cost? I save it to a, a custom field called conversion calc product cost. And last but not least, you know, the conversion rate, I come in here and say, uh, you know, what's the conversion rate? I save it to a variable called conversion calc convert, or sorry, conversion calc conversion rate. All right. You only need those three inputs in order to do the math. So. Uh, the big deal here is that I am triggering a zap, okay? And I'm calling the zap calc conversions. Now you'll notice that after I trigger the zap, I've got this information all the way down here uh, that basically uh, is, is waiting for the zap to happen. So I fire off the zap. Zapier hopefully will, uh, normally it, it actually comes back very, very quickly. But what I do is I also, I add in this big, big fat weight so what happens is that while mini chat is waiting, Zapier, uh, you know, once they input this here, it fires off to Zapier. Zapier messages back, so you get the information basically pops in right about here or or right after this. This uh, let me do some calculations, and then it waits 15 seconds to actually let them read all of that content and comprehend it, and then it does some typing. And uh, then it shows them, you know, the option to say, yes, I'm convinced or I'm not convinced. So um, basically, that's what uh, that's what allows the, the, the Zapier to fire back and actually make it look like it's part of this whole sequence when, in fact, we're leaving the bot, firing off to Zapier and waiting for a message back. OK, so let's um, once we fire this Zap calc conversions, let's go over here and actually see what happens in, in this particular zap. So I've got this zap conversion calculator and there's only three steps. So um, I come over here to the many chat and you want to uh, actually say trigger the new zap event. Okay. Um, and the options are it's you want to basically uh, capture the event that you call it. I call it calc conversions. So let's just stick with that. So once it fires off the calc conversions, um, we basically create our input in um, JavaScript. So, in once basically the, the first step is it just captures the the zap, and so ManyChat sends all of the user data in the zap. So we're we're good. We've we've entered the Zapier zap here. So uh, the next thing you want to do is that you actually want to run code. So we run code as you pick that block. You want to pick run JavaScript and then we edit the template. Now remember those custom fields that I set up. I called them uh, conversion calc list size, conversion calc product cost, and conversion calc 
conversion rate. So we need to create these variables for the JavaScript, okay? And so once that data is created for JavaScript to use, we can execute this giant nasty looking JavaScript. And really, I promise it's not that bad. And I've got the code built for you that you can download. Um, so these functions here, all these do is actually format the uh, the conversion numbers as currency or you know numbers with comma delimiters and things like that uh, just because uh, the JavaScript in Zapier doesn't have uh, the functionality to automatically do that for us so we have to add it so here we go uh, this little chunk here we take those in list size the conversion rate and the product cost and we actually make sure that if they're empty like let's say somehow the user managed to not enter data and they skipped it uh, we can just make sure it's zero so nothing breaks. Um, here we have our variables that define our email open rate and our click-through rate, which we know before that was 24.79% or 4.19%. Uh, we developed the messenger open rates at 80% and 40% click-through. And so then here is where we create our math that actually creates uh, the numbers for how many people will open, how many people will click through, how many sales you'll have, and what the estimated revenue will be for uh, Messenger, and then the same calculations for email. Then we calculate the difference, and then all of that junk is basically stuffed into one big fat variable that returns uh, you know, for use in the actual uh, message that we send back to the user. Once this step is done, and it's ready to go, we come down to send the message to the user. So let's edit the template. You want to actually take uh, use a custom value here and send it to the uh, user ID uh, that actually fired off the zap. And then we have this big message here that we create. Okay, so um, you have to kind of build this with your own text and everything and kind of figure it out. But you basically say, okay, and you use the, the first name um, for a list size of list size users. Here's the breakdown. And then you can see all the different variables that we've got. We've got messenger open, messenger CTR, conversion rate, the number of sales I'd have, and the gross. And so it's, it's kind of this little format here, the same for email. And then with a messenger bot, you could potentially make this much money more than with traditional email. And so that's the message that we saw um, back here. This is what, what it looks like when it finally comes out of Zapier. So that's how you create your conversion calculator. Um, I'll provide you a screen cap of each step. And uh, I'll also give you the, the, uh, the code here that you can download and input into your own zap so that you can create your own conversion calculator so uh as far as showing your uh showing your customers and that sort of thing uh this you know your prospects the information here and getting them to view it you can come over to your growth tools and you create the uh create the image here the scan code and you save that to your phone or the other device and then when you talk to somebody you go to say one of the local business meetups or you go to a BNI you know a business networking international uh, meeting or, or anything like that while even bumping into you know walking into a prospects office or something like that and you talk to them and you say hey check this out scan this with your uh, with your phone then they can actually scan that jump right into your conversion and they'll see it real time live and you know they'll, uh, they'll they will be amazed or uh, you can create the uh, growth tool uh, link and send them that link as well uh, that's a really nasty link so I actually create a short link I've got a little sh uh, link shortener uh, hosted on my own server and I create my own little short links that people can click on to get into that and it makes it look all pretty but if you send that email or that link in email or in a chat to a prospective client or have it on your website or something like that uh, you could do that or you could even use you know any one of the other growth tools to get them into your conversion calculator so uh, that's basically it guys uh, I know it's a little complicated it's a long 14 15 minute tutorial but hopefully that will help you create a conversion calculator and uh, get more clients. All right. Good luck. And uh, if you want to see something in Chat Fuel uh, like this, uh, let me know and I'll create one for Chat Fuel. All right.
Thanks.